say more. Yes, I think I do need to say more. Hello everyone and welcome back to another opening of Pokemon cards that I tend to do often. In this case we have Paldean Fates, almost a shiny Fates, Paldean Fates, the second wave of products. We have the Ancient Tin, the Future Tin, and the Charizard Tin because they gotta they gotta give us the mascot, right? That's just so many Charizards all the time in every set. So I wonder when they'll maybe give the first generation a bit of a break and maybe move on to like I don't know Gen Two. Maybe we'll start seeing a bunch of Cyndaquils and and Chikorita and Totodiles. Maybe they'll start getting some some serious love. I would love for them to get some. Uh, some art rares and alternate artworks or special illustration rares or whatever, but time will tell. Fingers crossed we get them for all the starters, you know. But I think uh, I think I'll do everyone a favor here and I'll just kind of crack all of these open. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do the Charizard one first and then I'll pull all the packs out of the other two. And we can see what we get out of each tin. So without further ado. Let's get it. Of 
this set, so it makes the burden a lot easier to go out and buy. Uh, oh, first, let's check for for bread lines. Oh, they did they did these clean. They did these clean. Respect. There's a little a little chip at the top there. I think I'm pointing at it. I swear I saw it. it's like right there. It's like a, just a little dent, a tiny little dent. Who cares, right? Who cares? It's not like I'm grading this. Great Dusk. Again, I don't think there's any print lines, none that I can see, none that the camera can pick up, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry, I'm always getting so distracted, I know, I know, I apologize. Here we go, we'll put them, in. let's be, let's be respectful here. Put jars on in the middle, past and future, All right, we got past, present, future. Shoot. <laughs> I think I forgot what went where. I'm pretty sure this went here. This went here. And I think this one went with Great Dusk. Why did they both have to have a bozo on top? That confused the crap out of me. Well, if I catch it while editing this video, maybe, maybe these two are interchangeable. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. They're all going to the same place. They're all going to the same place. So it's no big deal. Let's see how we do with the Great Dusk tin. But, um, yeah, we, when we open sets, we usually try to, you know, open until we're, we're pretty much given, given up on pulling cards our own. And uh, you know, try to make the best financial decision in terms of like, alright, can we get all the secret rares and whatever. Um, and with this set, it's hard with anniversary sets or, or, uh, uh, holiday sets because they tend to slow roll products. So, like, I have to wait an extended period of time before I can tell myself, like, okay, just buy the rest. Uh, <laughs> since, uh, since we have to wait longer until we can actually open one of each product, so. It is what it is. I know it's a really niche very niche problem. It's not really much of a problem at all. If anything, it's nice because, uh, you know, the set can kind of like grow over a lot longer of a lifespan rather than sets like uh, Paradox Rift where they can just come out and after like two weeks, you know, it could, it could be over, you know. It's totally possible. I'm not saying that's what happened with Paradox Rift. I still love the set and, you know, maybe there is some some hype that wasn't exactly there, right? But I think that only helps the average consumer like myself and probably like yourselves because a lot of times they'll just go on sale on stores and you can, you know, again, as the consumer, you stand to benefit from things like that. So who knows? Maybe hype isn't always a good thing for everybody. But I digress. Here we go, Cotney. And we finish with the Gangnam Styling Judge. Nice, okay, first hit. I was getting worried we were gonna have two stinky backs in a row. Nice, first hit. All right, Bozo, don't let us down. I've been noticing they have like this, like, like a little rib, a little like dashed line across these backs. I wonder if it's because they're like packaged so tight in the uh, in the tin that like the seams here like make an impression on the next pack. Or maybe I'm just talking crazy, I don't know. I tend to do that pretty often. So I am excited for these new tins though and I know they have uh, the premium collections as well, which have a bit of controversy <laughs> on what's inside of them. But I have them next to me here, and I can't wait to open them. So I decided to do something a little bit smaller since uh, I am babysitting two cats. And I don't think I would have enough time to do a full... Oh, we got Toxel. We got Toxel, baby shiny. Very cute. I don't know if I would have enough time to open everything, all three of them in one single sitting. 
without one of my cats getting antsy and wanting to, to ditch me or I don't know. It's hard. It's hard right now. I can't really keep both of them out of sight for too long out of fear that they might like beat each other up. So, and I don't like locking them in the room in like separate rooms because then they just cry and I don't know. It makes me feel sad. You know, they cry out because they're lonely. Or, so right now they're both sleeping right here in my office with me. One is at the window and one is right next to my desk right here where he always is. My my older cat. So, everything is at peace for the time being, and I'm hoping that I'm not jinxing it by saying that. Hopefully I can make it through all three of these stands without any major disturbances or, or chaos breaking loose in this room. So, my, my newer cat, he, uh, he really likes to jump on stuff, while my older cat likes to stay low to the ground and doesn't like to jump on things. So, um, the new cat is definitely a different dynamic that I'm not entirely used to, but then again, I was spoiled with my old cat, so we have rare candy, and we finish with an Iron Tread EX, very nice. Alright, so we are three out of four packs for hits. That's pretty good. I know some of you may not consider the regular EX a hit, but I mean, hey, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. Yeah, this one too has a big line running across it. Interesting. Maybe it's like I don't, I don't know what it is. I think that's something only the uh, the printers and or distributors or whatever you want to call them. I think that's something only they could explain. I don't know what goes on over there behind closed doors. You know, they might be spinning on our backs for all we know. Putting their blood, sweat, and tears all over them. The Fighting Energy, Paladin Students, Godney, Lapras, Mime Junior, let's get a baby shiny right here, Gengar, Charmeleon, Oinkalone, Gimme Ghoul, Reverse, okay, we'll take it, we'll take it, oh, and we get a Palafin, nice, get a Palafin Art Rare, I think it's a shame that, uh, well, it's pros and cons, right? in this set and the fact that they're fairly easy to pull from what I can tell um, kind of stinks because like these cards look so great and they're worth less than a dollar which again like depending on who you are that's probably a good thing I know a lot of people uh, prefer to have like cards uh, much more accessible and much cheaper and whatnot so that way everybody can have them and if you weren't lucky enough to pull it, you could buy it for less than a dollar. But I just think it's crazy that, like, beautiful artwork on those cards, and it's, like, less than a dollar. Like, it's almost... I guess it's not sad. It's more just shocking. Like, wow, really? Oh, okay, well, I'll take that. You know what I mean? It's, it's just very interesting how, uh, how the market... And I, I use the market as more of, like, a collective or a hive mind type of, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, whatever. I, I use it as more of just like a generalized term of everybody, all of us as a collective. Like, uh, it's interesting how values are determined for certain cards. Like, these Charizard tins, please guys, if you buy these tins, don't buy them overpriced. Like, people were selling these Charizard tins for like almost double retail just because they had a Charizard in it. Like, Please don't fall for the scam. Just like buy it online at Target or Best Buy for regular or buy it from a card store that you trust. Like these are not worth more than they already are. They are already overpriced. They're almost $30 in the US. Um, and you know, that's too much. $30 is already too much. That's over $5 a pack. Five packs in each of these tins. They should have been 25. But once again, I digress. That's not the point of this video. We're just here to enjoy the bulls and, uh, and ensure that our our fellow our fellow TCG enjoyers are not getting scammed. And if they are, at least they at least we warned them, right? Because <laughs> some people will see those price tags, like me, right? And sometimes they'll ignore them. 
depending on the situation, like for me, buying a, a Paldean Fates ETB uh, at Walmart for $55 here in the U.S. And, uh, you know, that's way more than it actually costs. And if I had bought it from an online shop, I could have bought it for like 40 or less, $40 or less. But the only reason I bought it was because it was like on the shelves before the official release date. And I did it for the channel. So like, you know, as long as you're doing it for a reason, you know that what you're doing is not the best choice. Like, hey man, the, the world is your oyster, no piggy. Got the reverse Pikachu and the Houndstone. There is our first Stinkeroni Baloney pack from the Charizard tin. Let's see if we can get a little bit more here. Three packs left. Very curious if uh, if these packs will hold some heat for us. Peep and I actually opened a couple of these tins off camera just for ourselves, just because we don't open without the camera on uh, as often as we used to. So we opened a couple of those, and the, the hits from the tins were all right. There were nothing crazy. I think it was like a, we had like a 60% hit rate and again nothing nothing that really knocked our socks off so I'm seeing if these tins might turn the tide we have a grab locked a Mimikyu and we finish with a Cyclozar okay all right Charizard tin doing us a little dirty here two stinkies in a row Pikachu back I find it really interesting too, like, I don't know, I, I feel like towards the, I don't know, I, I don't pull a lot of the baby shinies, and I think now that I said it, I probably will pull a few more baby shinies, I mean, one would assume, right, six packs left, one would assume, but I tend to not pull the baby shinies as much as I do everything else, so, um, yeah, it seems like that trend is still going for this video here. Let's see if I if I put pressure on these packs now. Maybe I, I jinxed it the opposite direction. Here we go. Our first reverse. Is it baby shiny? Nice. A bitchy. Very, very cute. Love the texture on these cards. They're so like I don't know. They're so like minutely detailed. I love them. And we have Oinkalone. We finish with the crazy hypnotic Zatu. Beautiful. Let's get another sleeve here. Oh wait, this guy. Like these, these baby shinies are so textured on the front. It's almost like disorienting. Like they don't feel. <laughs> they don't. I'm not right, but I guess they feel really weird. Like I'm not used to a regular card having so much grit and it feels kind of like I'm holding like a really fine sandpaper. Almost to the point where it kind of gets like stuck on my finger in a weird way. As you saw, it looked like it actually like pulled the back underneath it too. But here we go. Last pack from the Charizard tin. I just gave you guys a huge preview of what was in the pack, so apologies. But let's see if there's anything else in here for room. Frigibacks. Come on, Charizard, you can do it. No way, we have three stinkies in this, in this single tin. That would be so sad. Grab locked. Got Iono. Still looking for her. We got Kilowattro. Ooh, we got the Fortress, the Full Art Fortress. Nice, nice. Followed by Reverse Vampy and a Professor's Research. Not too shabby. I'm gonna give this guy a regular sleeve because I've I've pulled him a few times already, so no heat, no heat. Here we go. Put these guys over here. Right in the middle. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And on to the last five packs from Iron Treads. Let's see. Let's see which ten will stand out amongst the others. If that, maybe they're all neck and neck. Maybe they're all neck and neck. All right. We have a steel energy. Cottony. Lapras. Mime Jr. Mastiff. Oink alone, Moonlit Hill, 
professor's research. It feels like every... Oh, never mind. We get another Palafin. Nice. And I ate Rotom. I was going to say, it feels like every first pack of each of these tins was stinky, but I stand corrected. This one is not too bad. Not too bad. Another art rare. Again, I, I wish they did more art rares for this set. You know, they definitely have a lot of baby shinies, which is, they're cute, but I don't know. Missed opportunity, in my personal opinion. They could have you know, I think there's only three or four, depending on how you, how you're counting them, but I think it would have been really cool to see, uh, it would have been really cool to see, I forget what I'm saying, because I'm trying to do, like, two things at once. <laughs> I'm not great at juggling and multitasking. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, it would have been nice to see more art rares in this set. It would have been a lot more shiny art rares. They, they could have had a lot of creative freedom there, so. Oh well. Take what you can get, right? We don't make the rules, we just open the packs. Okay, okay. No baby shiny here. A Lapras. And a Mag Mortar. Alright, our mandatory stinky pack has been. is now out of the way, guys. Now it's just nothing but pure heat for the next three packs. Get ready. Buckle it. We're about to get crazy here. Here we go. Maybe we'll get a special illustration rare. That'd be nice. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Did not mean to cut you guys off there. Mid back. That was a little strange, but uh, my camera ran out of storage, so I had to just quickly <laughs> delete a bunch of videos that I've had stockpiled on there. Don't worry, I back up everything on my computer and a hard drive, so nothing bad happened. Just just had to sit down for a minute mid-opening. Kind of threw me out of the zone, but we're finishing off with these three packs. Here we go. <sighs> Baby shine. What the heck? A Toxel again in the same opening that is the the strangest double up I've ever had. I'm a boss diff and a cyclozar. Okay. Very, very weird. We'll put this guy in a regular sleeve for now. No no Snorlax sleeve for that guy. Sorry. No offense, Doxel. I don't even think that one has a print line, so it might be better than the first one I got. That one had a print line. up here with two packs. Let's see if we can finish strong. Maybe we'll get a special illustration rare. I'm missing quite a few. I'm missing Clive, Iono, and all three of the in-game companions. The French, the friends, the friendship duo, trio. Missing Benny, Arvin, and Nimona. I think I already said Clive too. Yeah, I'm missing him. I, I want him. He's awesome. Beautiful card. Baby Wood would kill me for pulling it without it, but she would be happy to see it nonetheless. So we have Nest Ball, Swoobat, Tandem House. Ooh, Tandem House Shiny would be nice. Professor's Research, but most likely we'll not be getting them in this last pack here. So. Thank you all for being here. Um, I know this was a, maybe felt a little bit rushed, but I'm trying to film this and get this out, upload it as fast as possible. It's been a crazy week. Uh, I should be uploading this on the weekend. It's been a crazy week for myself, so I haven't been able to push anything out. It always feels weird when I'm not able to upload as consistently as I'd like on the channel, so seeing it just kind of lay dormant for for more than a couple days always sort of gets me itching gets me a little shaky like i need to put something out there so that people know that i'm i'm alive and you know keep the channel alive as well so just want to let y'all know i'm doing my best i'm doing my best don't think I, i'm ignoring y'all i promise i'm not primate okay curlia will we get anything in this last pack we get a palmy beautiful art rare and we finish with the heat rotom the of 
good boy. All right. So, let me take a moment here. Sleeve that guy up. Here we go. So, the iron treads. We're going to do the recap right here. No cuts. There's no need. I've been prepping this whole time. So, here we go. We have the iron treads tin. Came with a Toxel Baby Shiny. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Toxel Baby Shiny. A Palmy Art Rare Shiny. And a Palafin Art Rare. So, here we go. Lay those out over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. Just being very particular. Don't mind me. Then we'll do the we'll do the Charizard ones. Why not? So of course we have the big man himself, Terra EX, Shiny Charizard. We have Pidgey, Baby Shiny, Fortress, Full Art Shiny, and we have the Paldean students. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Here we go. Surprisingly, the Charizard might be the, the hit of that tin there. The bigger one. And finally, we have the Great Dusk EX. With a Toxel looking very, very familiar right there. Love that. Nice little double up in one opening. We got the Gangnam Styling Judge. And we got the Palafin and Iron Treads EX. So, there you have it. There are the hits from three of these tins. So let me know what you guys think. Definitely more to come. I really want to open those premium collections, so those should be coming fairly shortly once I actually get the chance to crack in them. So, uh, if I didn't say it, I didn't say it in the beginning. I'll I'll try my best to make a note at the beginning of the video. I got these, as well as the premium collections that are to come. Uh, I got them from Fortune Fire Gaming, so I'll say this now. Huge disclaimer, this is not sponsored by them in any way. Um, I just order from them a lot because I love their prices. There is a lot of controversy going on, not that that matters, but if you're part of it, or if you are following along with it, just know um, that I don't care. <laughs> Just know that I don't care. I love their prices. Uh, I've bought from them plenty of times in the past, and I'm still continuing to buy from them. Um, if you feel like, uh, if you're offended by that in any way, I think that's a personal problem, because um, just don't buy from them if you don't want to. And if you don't care, buy from whoever you want, right? I don't think there's any need for people to cut ties uh, with friends or people in the community just because they buy from certain stores, right? People buy from scammy stores all the time. Do you see me blocking them? No, it's their decision. Let them do what they want, right? I don't think these guys are scammers. And um, again, feel free to disagree. It's A-OK. -okay. It's a free country. At least in the U.S., it's a free country. <laughs> um, and yeah, just, you know, just enjoy the cards, right? Enjoy the cards. Enjoy the prices if, if they appeal to you. And if you don't enjoy any of that, then just do something else, right? Go do something else. It's OK. Everyone's going to be all right. That's all I gotta say. So, hope you guys enjoy your night, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, your night, your morning, whatever it is. I hope it's morning and I hope it's night. Um, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and of course leaving a comment. Just saying whatever you want. You can be nice, you can be mean, it's okay. Um, but yeah, just expect, expect a response accordingly. <laughs> so, beware. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, stay safe until the next video. Thank you so much.